No, no, don't wiggle, Rex! Oh, <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Rex! Ah! So we're trying something new today, and the end goal is to create a replica of Rex's back foot, or front foot, I'm not sure. We're gonna try for the back foot. So what we have to do first is we have to use this alginate, which is usually used to make dental or replicas of your teeth. And it's non-toxic, it's animal safe. And we're going to mix this with water 50-50 and then put her foot in that solution until it sets, which takes a couple minutes. And then we'll pull Rex's foot out of the alginate solution. And after that, we will fill up that uh, mold with the casting material, which takes how long to, how long does this take to set? It needs to set for 30 to 45 minutes and then dry for about 24 hours. Okay, so we're uh, in about a day, we'll have the final cast of her foot, but we're gonna start the whole process tonight and uh, we'll see how this goes. The toughest part will be keeping her foot still in this solution for, is it two minutes? Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. I don't know if she'll be able to sit still long enough with her foot in something weird. So I'm kind of nervous about this, but we're gonna give it a go. They do it with infants with hand molds, so we should be able to do it with Rex, That's right? That's true. Someone uses this for puppies, so yeah. it's gotta work, right? We'll see. Fingers we'll crossed. See. We should probably put a towel underneath us for this. Okay. Here we go. So use this awesome horse towel. Perfect for my awesome sister, Grace. Now her leg's hanging down. Okay, yep. we're good. Okay, perfect. And what Ed's going to do off camera is he's going to take the alginate and mix it with water to get the solution ready. But there's only like a 30 second window we have to quickly get her foot inside of it. So we're not gonna film the mixing of this on camera because we don't wanna miss that window. <laughs> Here you go. All right, I'll change camera positions and then I'll go mix. All right. She's sitting pretty well, or yeah. so far, she's we'll sitting well. see when well. her foot gets wet. Oh, she's, hopefully she doesn't freak out. We've never done this before, guys. Yeah, first <laughs> shot, hopefully it works. So while Ed is mixing it, I'll just kind of fill you in. The alginate will be purple when it's mixed with water, and it turns white as it sets. So you'll see the color change after we put her foot in there and it starts setting. It didn't work? What happened? No, it's just not enough. Oh no. Could we do her front foot? Maybe, can we try that? Since it's already made? Yeah. Okay. All okay. right, you wanna just dunk her foot in? Okay, here we go. I might need you to move the cup up. Oh jeez, it's so thick. Push your foot in, Rex. Uh, it's too set. Is it really? Yep, it's already solid. It's we'll get her it. front three claws. <laughs> and her feet went like this as of I pushed it, it in. Yeah, first attempt, <laughs> didn't work so hot. <laughs> Ed's mixing it up by hand this time. Yep. That's enough that it could be her whole front leg. Go, 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 go! Go, you can do it! Okay, quick! Go, <laughs> You're pulling out a little bit. Okay. So hopefully pull her toes out. <laughs> well, there's enough this time. Rex, stretch out your toes, yeah. please. Wiggle your toes, Rex. <laughs> so we don't have just to clamp. clamp. A yeah. clamped foot. Yeah, I have a feeling that's what it might be. Yeah. Oh. oh. Come on, let go, Rex. Oh. <laughs> How does it I look? I think that's almost moldable, honestly. That might work. Look, you can see her scales and her scutes in there. <laughs> I can't see at the very bottom, but oh, I do see finger holes. <laughs> okay. Should we mold that one then? Cast it, I mean? Yeah. Yeah, we, we could try. Good job, Rex. Okay, I think we got a successful mold of her front foot, so now we're going to try to get a mold of her back foot. When it's ready, I'm going to slide my hand with her foot at the same time, and then slide my hand out, and that way I can ensure that her toes stay open as her foot is inserted, and then I'll try to fill in where my hand was with more of that um, alginate solution. Good girl, Rex. You're doing well, Rex. Okay, here we go. Good girl, Rex. Okay, Rex, pull. Here we go. Pull, Rex. Come on, pull your foot out. Yeah. <laughs> it actually worked, but it, it goes in and back out, so we'll see. Ah, 
I just heard from Ed in the other room that that one didn't work out because he wasn't able to mix up all of this, the powder at the bottom. So where her toes were didn't mold correctly. So we have one more shot at this with the m amount of material we have left. Fingers crossed that this one works. This is our last chance, guys. Now we have an ice cream bucket with the alginate in it. And when it's completely mixed, we're going to put her foot in this cup. I'll probably just hold it in here and we're gonna pour it around her foot. This has gotta work. Three, two, one, go. Oh shoot. Oh no, don't wiggle Rex! Oh no! <laughs> no. Rex! Here, hold the... Ah. Okay, wait, let me just okay. get all of it in there really Oh quick. no! It might still work. It might! We still got time. Why did you have to wiggle now, Rex? She knew that it was our last yeah. chance. Okay. Okay, push it in and then we can put any extra in on top. Yep. I'll put my hand in like before. D yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to push it in. I guess we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Need more too. Need some more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it turns into a paste, not a liquid. So the pouring yeah. idea wasn't the best. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, I mean, I think this one might have worked. You kind of look like you got it in there. Maybe. It depends on how she held her foot. That'd be a miracle if this one somehow worked. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay, Rex, we're going to pull your foot out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that might have worked out like No perfect. way. That would be a miracle if that worked. <laughs> no way. Okay, so it's time to use the casting material and see how well the molds turned out. Okay, what are we doing next? This time we're... you don't have to film me. Okay, fine. We're we'll mixing just... the casting material. We're opening the casting material. There you go. And we're gonna do three parts of this to one part water and we're just gonna estimate because I don't want to do math on how much volume is in these alligator feet. <laughs> Makes sense. Three parts this, one part this. Okay. Water, and then we'll just mix. Wow, so that's really liquidy. Yeah, but well, that's because you want this to get into every nook and cranny. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, that's a plastic spoon, and yes, we are against plastic utensils, but that's a reused one. We washed it and used it again if it helps. We don't want this stuff stuck on our actual spoons. I'd say this is a smooth consistency, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd say so. All right, and then, what you have to do is you pour it in a little bit, and then you take this and you tap, 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 tap. Oh, get it in Spin every... it around, kind of work it around in the crevices. And you do that all the way up. That's what YouTube has told me. And YouTube is never wrong, right? <laughs> right. And we'll move to the foot mold. Oh no, we have a hole. Oh no, it's dripping. <gasps> How are we gonna? Tape. Tape? Don't know if this is gonna... <laughs> It might work! Look at that! It's not leaking right now. Perfect! I love duct tape. Okay, second one, after <laughs> some technical difficulties, is done. Only one left. This is the first one, and this one had lots of issues, so we just realginated the bottom. And we're gonna do the same thing that we, because we had issues with this one, so it shouldn't leak. And hopefully this isn't a hole right here, which it kind of looks like it is. It is. <laughs> Man, it's just one issue after another with this. <laughs> right, all three are filled. We have one front foot, which is that one, and then two back foot attempts. And uh, we'll give them 45 minutes and see what they look like. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. What do I do next? All right, so first with that one, I think take the duct tape off. Okay, that's <laughs> kind of what I was thinking too. Okay. So now apparently you go from the base and kind of start peeling away at it. Uh -huh. Whoa! <laughs> oh, here we go! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, that's Rex's foot! Look at her fat rolls. <laughs> yeah, right here! <laughs> oh my gosh, that worked better than I thought it would. And this is the one that we thought turned out the worst. Oh yeah, so a knuckle got cut off. Yep. Try this one was front foot? Yep, this is the front foot. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna rip it open. Oh, that is incredible. All right, so this one was better. It was very, well, they're both both equally close, I'd say. Should we try the last one? Sure, I'll get in and do that one. Okay. Oh, I can see scales. I also like that the dental stuff has like a sweet peppermint smell. Yeah, it smells so nice. Oh, look at that. 
Okay, I really hope we got the toe tips here. Yeah, same here. And Ed doesn't rip them off. That nail looks good. Yeah. Ooh, so does the nail next to it. Really? Yeah, this one might be a good one. They're, all the feet are free. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. So can we, there we go. <gasps> wow. So like back here, it didn't get the texture, but that's not the end of the world. No, that looks pretty it's good. still a pretty decent attempt considering yeah. all the things. You can even see like her little fingerprints. Yeah. Wow. All right, we have our beautiful model sitting on the counter for us. And here's the result. That is so cool. I can't believe all the details and the scales that it yeah. even shows. That is awesome. Now we didn't just make these for fun. I mean, it was fun and I'm still really excited with how well they turned out. We are making these for kind of a special reason. So if you want to learn more or what we're going to do next with these molds of her feet, let me know in the comments below if you want us to make a part two video on what we're going to do with these. But in the meantime, I'd like to of course thank our Patreon backers for supporting our channel. It was your contributions that helped fund for today's craft day. So thank you so much for allowing us to do this. We'd also like to thank everybody for watching today's video. And from Rex, Ed, and I, we will see you next time.